let's take a look at how to interpret box and whisker plots. The box plot shows the number of pets people living in either houses or apartments own. Which group has a value of the upper quartile that is higher? Okay, so let's look at this vocabulary because there's a lot of vocabulary words related to box and whisker plots. So box and whisker plots look like this, and the reason they're called that is because you literally see a box in the middle and then there's a line coming off each side that looks like a whisker. So box and whisker plot. Now there's five important numbers that each box and whisker plot shows you. So when you're working with data to figure out a box and whisker plot, first you take the lower extreme, which is just a fancy way to say the lowest number, and that's gonna be the bottom edge or the lowest whisker. And then you take the upper extreme, which is just the highest or biggest number, and that's gonna be the edge of the top whisker. Then you find the median of the entire data set. Now the median is the middle number when your numbers are listed from least to greatest. The median is always the line that you see somewhere inside the box. Now notice it's not directly in the middle. It can be towards the top or towards the bottom, right? It's towards the bottom in the blue box. It's towards the top in the orange. It doesn't matter. Wherever you see that line inside, the line inside the box represents the median or the middle number of your whole data. And then what they do is they actually split the data in half at the median and they take the median of each half. So the median of the lower half, well, the middle of the middle would be a quarter. So we call that the lower quartile. And then the median of the upper half, well, a half of a half is a quarter there as well, and we call that one the upper quartile. So the bottom edge of the box is the lower quartile, or the median of the lower half, and the upper edge of the box is the upper quartile, or the median of the upper half of your data. And those are the five numbers, lower extreme, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and upper extreme, that you need to know to interpret any box and whisker plot. Okay, so since they were asking us about the upper quartile value, I can read across on my the, for the blue box and whisker plot and see that my upper quartile for the blue is equal to 60. Okay, well, if I look at my orange box and whisker plot and label it the same way, right, this would be my lower extreme or my smallest number. This would be my lower quartile or the median of the lower half. The line inside is the median of the whole thing. The top edge of the box is my upper quartile or my median of the upper half. And then the top whisker is my upper extreme or highest number. Okay, so for the orange one, my upper quartile is here. And if I read across, it looks like it's going to be halfway between 80 and 90, which would give me an upper quartile value of 85. Okay, well, which one is higher, 60 or 85? 85 is higher. Okay, well, notice the blue was the house, the orange was the apartment. So the apartment had a higher upper quartile value of 85. A school makes the following graphs to show how many extracurricular activities boys and girls participate in. Which gender has a value of the upper quartile that is lower? Okay, well again, remember the upper quartile is the top edge of the box. So the upper quartile of my blue box would be here, and my upper quartile for my orange box would be here. Okay, notice the blue represents male and the orange represents female. Okay, now it looks like if I read across, the blue is right around 145, but it looks like so is the orange. It looks like they're right in line with each other. So that would mean that they are equal. A school makes the following graphs to show how many extracurricular activities. Okay, I think this is almost the same question. Um, let's see, our upper quartile would be here, right the top edge of the box, and again, it looks like they match up the same, so we're going to say they are equal. The graph below shows an average delay time for flights between a local and international company. Which company has a median value that is higher? 
Okay, well, the last few questions were all about the upper quartile. Notice this time they're asking us about the median. The median or middle number is the line inside the box. So my blue median looks like it would be right around 50. So that would be the median for the local flights. And for the orange one, it looks like that median or middle number is at 70. So that would be the delay for international flights. Well, 70 is more than 50. So international had a higher median value. The graph below shows the foot traffic for two departments in a store from various days in a month. Which department has a minimum value that is higher? Okay, well the minimum value is the smallest number. Remember on a box and whisker plot, we call that our lower extreme. Okay, well the lower extreme or minimum value for beauty, which is represented in blue, looks like it's right around 70. Okay, the lower extreme or minimum, right, the smallest number for the orange, which represents sports, is higher than that. It looks like it's right around 80. So which one would have a higher value? Well, 80 is more than 70. We can see that the orange one is higher up, so we would say sports. Below is a chart showing the weights of both males and females females. Which group has a range that is higher? All right, well remember the range is your biggest number minus your smallest number. So for the males, my blue chart here, the biggest number or my upper extreme was at 120 minus my lowest number or my lower extreme was down here at 10. Okay, so 120 minus 10, that's going to give me a range of 110. For the females, my highest number looks like it's up here at 110 minus my smallest number was also 10. So 110 minus 10 would give me a range of 100. So you can see that the male weights have a bigger range, right? 110 is bigger than 100. Now a little trick when you have a box and whisker plot like this, without even subtracting, I could tell that the males had a higher range because you can visually see the upper extreme or highest number and the lower extreme or lowest number are further apart than they are here. Right here, they're just a little bit closer together. So that's another way to tell that the males had a bigger range.